Mumbai ke nikhil ya. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine because I am not because two days back something went wrong with my Duke and it's still in service center. And since morning my nose is just running non-stop. And right now I am absolutely high on this uh, Otrivin nasal spray and three cup of black coffee. So if you find me behaving a little weird or energetic, you just have to bear with it. So let's begin with the video. So for those of you who don't know, two days back I went to KTM Vikroli to get my bike serviced and soon after that I went to Andheri to meet a friend and while coming back from Andheri, exactly 7 kilometers before my house, uh, something went wrong with my bike. It just died on the spot. There was some weird noise was coming from my engine like and then cut, my engine was dead on the spot. My bike was refusing to start. I mean, the headlight was working, the, the horn was working, the I think there was the, the, the starter was giving power, but the engine was just not starting. So I was really frustrated that time. I even clicked a selfie and I uploaded it to my Mumbai and Nikhil Facebook page and I saw tremendous response from you guys. So thank you very much. And then I had to push my bike for two kilometers then I got help from two guys and then again two more guys till my house so I had to push my bike total for three kilometers which is not bad and I got a decent workout so yeah so yesterday I took my bike to KTM service center again obviously so after checking for like 30 40 minutes what they told me that I have to leave my bike over there for two to three days now I don't know whether it's two to three days or two to three weeks well I'll find out soon enough and I'm going to post it on my Mumbai Nikhil page obviously for you guys to know. Any which ways uh, what they told me that after checking it seems like there's a problem you know there's a valve inside the engine so there is problem with the valve or the bearing inside I, I am not sure I'm not good with the engine parts and all but that's what they told me I will find out tomorrow what's the actual problem is if I if I come to know while editing this video I'm going to post it over here but I'm sure they will they will tell me tomorrow or day after any which way is coming to the point so one of you guys posted a comment on the picture or the previous video that Nikhil, imagine agar ye same cheese hota while going to Goa or maybe while going to Delhi. Imagine if I would face the exact same thing while going to Delhi or while coming back from Goa in that dangerous Amboni Ghat. I mean, main kya karta? I mean, obviously it would be so scary and you know, it's kind of a weird situation. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you my worst riding experience till now. Okay, so back in 2014 December, to be precise 13 December 2014, I decided to go to Bangalore on my KTM Duke 390. My KTM Duke 390 was exactly one year old that time and it was still uh, it was still very new because I have uh, clocked uh, that time around 6,000 kilometers. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just did, you know, 6,000 kilometers in one year at that time. And since then till now, I have done a lot. Maybe what, 16,000 kilometers in the second year. Wow, not bad, right? Any which way. So I did till that time 6,000 kilometers in 13th December 2000 and, uh, 2014. So I decided to take my bike to Bangalore. Uh, so it was a beautiful winter month and I was like, you know, my bike is in good shape. I'm in good shape. It's it's winter. Obviously, I can ride the whole day. And at that time, I was having very less riding experience. Till that time, I have just done one ride in my life on my bike, which was like uh, Mumbai Ajmer. Uh, that too, I did with a friend of mine. He was in the car. He was in the train. One was in the car, one was in the train. So yeah, it was like, it was easy and nothing happened to my bike because my bike was very very new it was just like you know first servicing after the first servicing so yeah so I was so I left for Bangalore at exactly 8 30 in the morning my first mistake never leave your house at 8 30 in the morning when you're doing a 1000 kilometers ride yes Mumbai to Bangalore is exactly 1000 kilometers so I was I was planning to leave at 4 in the morning but I was so excited to go to Bangalore and 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 do this Mumbai Bangalore ride and to meet a friend over there that I couldn't sleep the whole night problem with all the riders right so I woke up at around 8 th so 7 30 in the morning and then after taking a bath and taking a dump I was all set to leave by 8 15 and I left my building at, at exactly around 8 30. So here I was, I faced traffic, it took me around 2 hours to reach Lonavla and after that I was riding, 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 riding and then I crossed the Maharashtra border and I and I entered Karnataka at around 2 in the afternoon or some somewhere like that. I don't remember, it's, it's almost a year old. Anyway, so I crossed, at the moment I entered uh, Karnataka, I was so happy. I was like, yes, I have entered another state. I was very happy, I was riding, it was windy, it was 
the, the weather was amazing and then I saw this black clouds over there I was like wow the view is looking absolutely amazing but then it's a black cloud Kale Badal that to in winter and I still remember one of my subscribers warned me Nikhil take rain pants and take rain boots and take all this but no I was so overconfident I didn't took anything but Thank God I was wearing, uh, that time I still had my Zeus riding jacket, Zeus all terrain riding jacket which I still have which is waterproof, water resistant to be precise and my same Bluetooth LS2 helmet. Thanks to that I could at least receive calls from my mother, from my friends and all that so that they were not worried that I'm riding in such a terrible rain. Okay, so yeah, then soon after riding at exactly around 3.30 in the afternoon it started drizzling. So I was like, okay, it's, it's a drizzle, you know, so what, it's just drizzle. And then after 15 minutes it was raining cats and dog and when I say it was raining cats and dog it was the first rain I have ever experienced while riding a bike or even I have never even seen that this kind of rain while even driving a car it was like you know the god of thunder was like इसकी बजा नहीं आज गिराओ सब सब पानी फेंको तो ये भी बाल्टी डालो वो बाल्टी डालो समुद्र का पूरा पानी इस पर डालो the only thing that nothing happened in front of me was thundering I mean I was to be very honest I was scared <laughs> I was so scared I can't even tell you because I couldn't see anything you know all the trucks and the cars they, they were just parking there they were just stopping their cars you know because they couldn't see anything I was just I just opened my visor and I was just driving I was just riding and I was so scared I can't even tell you and then it stopped so I was like, okay, stop. I took a halt in the petrol pump. I refueled. I changed my underwear, obviously, because the most uncomfortable thing to do while riding is your riding with a wet underwear. That, that's, that's really irritating. So I changed it. And then again, I started riding. And again, it started raining. Then I again, again, it stopped. Again, I changed. Again, I continued. Again, it started raining. And then you know what? I said, you know what? Chuck it. I'll just ride with a wet underwear. And I was just riding it. I was just riding, riding, riding. Then sunset. And then exact 300 kilometers before Bangalore, something really, really bad happened. Well, I was riding and I was at, a, at around 80 to 90 kilometers per hour. Thank God that time it was not raining. And I was riding and then I could hear this, you know, this, this chain car noise, this chain car, you know, the normal KTM sound when, you, when your chain is loose and you get this weird noise and then And then, you know, I was riding. I was like, what the hell is happening? You know, why my bike isn't moving? And then I stopped and I checked, and I was like, where is the bloody chain? There was no chain on my motorcycle. Abey, dharti nikal gaya, asman khaliya, kya malum kya hua? There was no chain on my motorcycle. Can you imagine? Exactly at around 7:15 in the evening, in middle of nowhere, there is. There is no sign of civilization. There is jungle on the left hand side. There is jungle on the right hand side. Only trucks are passing by and a place where they don't speak Hindi and all the weird guys are passing by and you can't do anything and your bike doesn't have a bloody chain. So I got so scared. I removed my camera. Obviously, it was dark. I couldn't shoot anything. I removed my camera. I removed my gloves. I removed my phone and I kept it inside somewhere safe because I thought I am going to get robbed for sure. And then there was a torch light with me. I was just searching for the chain behind, behind. And then after going for two to 300 meters behind, I finally found a chain. And then I got my chain and I, and I was like, now what? What will I do with that bloody chain? I don't know how to fix it. I am, I'm a noob. I don't know how to fix it. I mean, it's a broken chain for God's sake. What will I do? So I started pushing my bike. I was pushing my bike, pushing my bike. All the guys were passing. All the guys on the motorcycle, they were passing. Obviously, they don't stop for anyone, but they saw me. I was wearing a riding jacket. I was wearing a helmet. And I was, I was looking from a good family. So few of them stopped and then, you know, Obviously, no one can tow my bike because I was having big saddlebags, tank bag, and I was also so huge and heavy, and my bike was looking, you know, from some outer space because obviously they don't know. They have never seen a KTM that time. KTM's Duke 390 was still a very new bike that time. So here I was. I was just pushing my bike. I was asking help. No one was willing to help me. So after pushing for two kilometers, I saw an exit to a village. And at the moment I took that left, I saw one car parked and they were changing the tire. I asked to help. Uh, are you a mechanic? They said, no, I'm not a mechanic. They said, well, where can I find a mechanic? They said, you have to go inside, seven kilometers inside. And that time it was exactly seven, 740 or something like that. So I was like, seven kilometers? They said, yeah. And one more information, 
everything will be shut by 8 o'clock because this is Karnataka. This is not Mumbai. This is Karnataka. Everything will be shut by 8 o'clock. And I was like, are you serious? Are you serious? Everything will be shut by 8 o'clock? Now what? I won't be able to make it. I was, I, I was, I almost cried. Why, why should I lie? I'm a man. I almost cried that time. I was like shivering like this. Like I was shivering and I was like, what to do? I thought, you know what? This is the end. I'm going to get robbed. I'm, I'm not going to make it to Bangalore and I have to go back Mumbai on, in some ambulance. And I don't know what I was scared. All the weird thoughts was coming in my mind. I don't know what to do. And then something, some magic happened. One guy came on his Splendor or Unicorn. I don't remember. I don't even remember the bike. He just came. He just parked his bike. He just came and he just told me, you know what? Hold this rope. I held onto that rope, and then he he, he tied to his uh, rear, uh, uh, whatever that that you call that steel part. He tied over there. Then he came. He took that rope from me, and then he tied to my uh, sh front shock absorber. And then he was like, you know what? Just sit. I'll take you to the nearest mechanic. So I was like, I was blank. I was like, okay. Now in that moment, you can't really say anything. So I was sitting on my bike. I was shivering for two reasons. I was scared and then I was completely wet, drenched and it was cold. It was winter, December, jungle. It was extremely cold. I think it was around 15 or 16 degrees that time because it was still 7.30. Later, it will get, get much cold cooler anyways so he was he was towing my bike from his bike you know i was thinking is he a robber or is he a good guy i don't know what it is but i didn't had any option that time so he took me to a mechanic a garage where they were almost shutting down but then he told me you know what just help this guy and then he just he just removed all the rope and he didn't he, did, he didn't even wait for me to thank him he just he just left he didn't even took money from me he, he didn't even wait for me to say thank you he just left then that moment I believe that God exists and he was he was an angel who was sent by God which way so so what they did they used a Avenger or bullet car lock you know that lock and they fixed my chain and then I, I continued riding my bike till Bangalore and I stayed in Bangalore for 24 or 30, 30 hours I have left the link to the description box below so you can watch that video I was not really a good motor vlogger that time actually i was a motor reviewer that time i used to review you know ktm rc i used to ride i used to test ride ktm rc exhaust node that node that node so i was learning how to do a motor vlogging because i think that time it was only everyday india and augi f and yeah probably they were only two actual vloggers that time and uh, so I, I used to watch the videos and i used to learn how to actual motor vlog there were motor reviewers that time also but there were very few motor vloggers so i used to watch the watch the videos and i was like you know what even i i want to be a motor vlogger so yeah what better video can it be i am gonna do a mumbai bangalore and i'm gonna start this trend which is travel vlogs travel motor vloggers so that was my first actual actual touring video and it was a blunder that time and you know what i thought i'm never gonna ride a motorcycle after that and i'm gonna never gonna vlog but then i came back i i, I edited the video and i and I, you know and i uploaded to my youtube channel and that video got decent views and i got such a beautiful comment from some of you guys that you know what it motivated me to continue my motor vlogging journey and here i am in front of you with all the all the videos which i have uploaded to my youtube channel that is the reason again and again i'm saying thank you to you guys because whatever i am today is because of you guys so thumbs up for you guys huh? <laughs> so anyway guys that was my worst riding experience till date thank god ye jo bhi idhar hua ye mere goa ride pe nahi hua i hope you like this video as per now shukran alvida ma salama take care and do whatever you want my friends and for all you new motor vloggers remember it is all about motor vlogging and not motor reviewing if you want to review a particular thing you know review as you're vlogging just walk down the bike you know just walk in front of the bike just review just vlog remember it will be difficult in the beginning but at the end you will be known you will be loved for whom you are and people will just watch the video for you and not for the particular product if you want views then yeah you can be a motor reviewer but remember there is difference between motor review and motor vloggers so shukran alvida masalama take care and do whatever you want my friends this is nikhil signing off bye bye